السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام شيخ يا عمر بدر أنو سوري يا عمر بدر أنو سوري يا عمر بدر أنو سوري يا عمر بدر أنو Let's go, inshallah. I'll be able to say that I'm in the Shaytan regime. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, 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 اللهم عنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم عنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلق ورضا نفس وزنة عرش ومداد كلماته سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلق ورضا نفس وزنة عرش ومداد كلماته سبحان الله وبحمده عدد خلقه ورضا نفسه وزنة عرشه ومداد كلماته Can you tell me إن شاء الله who is me right now first the last ayah we stopped with what just to remind ourselves Yes, 44. Yes, 44. So we start 45. Yes, Surat what? Al-Namal. Hmm? Surat An-Namal. An-Namal. No, and An-Naml, it's, it's when, Brother Anwar, An-Naml, it's on Saturday. Do you want oh, to okay. continue with Surat An-Naml? Okay. I, no, I thought the Saturday, Sunday are for Halakha. Yeah. Yeah, we could, we could continue. If, if, if you want, we could continue with Surah Al-Nam. Uh, it's your call, Sheikh. You are the lead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could go We could go with Surah Al-Nam. Why, why not? Or, um, yeah, okay, let's go with Surah Al-Nam. No problem. Let's continue with Surah Al-Nam. Inshallah. Okay. What, what the last ayah, Brother Anwar? Can you, can you say the ayah? Or the meaning? Uh, it's uh, ayah 44. Yes. It was said, said to her, enter a sara glass surface with water underneath it or a, yes. or a palace. But when she saw it, she thought it was a pool. And she tucked up her clothes, uncovering her legs. Suleiman yes. said, really, it's a sara, a glass surface with water underneath it or a palace. And yes. she said, my Lord, really, I have wronged myself when I submit in Islam together with Suleiman to Allah. The yes. Lord of Alameen, mankind, jinn, and all that exist. Yes. Okay. What, Brother Anwar, if you are continuing with me right now, what we learned from this ayah yesterday? Well, I mean, what we learn is that, uh, is that uh, you know, sometimes we, oh. we, see, we see things differently uh, on, yeah. surface, on surface it may look very glamorous, glossy, or whatever you want to call it, it, deceive you, it deceives you, you know. And, and you know, when, when you get felt, when you find the truth, you then yes. sort of, uh, sort of get a lot, get behind that. Oh, this is a good, good point, brother. Owen. Yes. So what, what we could call it in from other hand, that don't be fresh to make judgment. Right? Correct. Quick judgment, yeah. You have to, you have to understand that the, the, the meaning, the, the understanding is very critical when you're making decisions. Yes. When you make the, the decisions. Yeah. This is we need to learn. You know, all, all, all of us, all of us, some people, some people, not some people, many people, all the time they have, they have this, prob they have this problem. Subhanallah, uh, uh, Rasulullah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is, he is teaching us in this ayah, in another ayat, that if you have something, we don't know the wisdom behind it. Okay, so here we need to stop or wait, not to stop, wait and think about it and look at, look at it from other side. Don't look at from your side, right? That's right? correct. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. So, 
not all the time, not all the time, we could see the things as we are seeing it. Because sometimes, like what? Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving some people ibtila. Uh, 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 sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for example, sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't give some family kids. Maybe. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of people like that. But they don't know. Maybe if, if they have kids, maybe they'll, they'll make a problems and get them in trouble. They don't know, right? So sometimes, sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is teaching us not all the time, not all the time what you see, what you see are right. You have to think about the wisdom behind it, okay? Go to the next, the next ayah, inshallah, ayah number what, 45. Please open your Quran, open your Quran, Look at, don't look at the camera or the phone, okay? Look at the next ayah, 45. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Wa laqad arsalna ila thamud akhahum saliha Wa laqad arsalna ila thamud akhahum saliha أن اعبد الله أن اعبد الله فإذا هم فريقان يختصمون focus on recitation don't look at the phone focus on recitation فإذا هم فريقان يختصمون again يختصمون قال يا قوم لم تستعجلون بالسيئة قبل الحسنة قال يا قوم لم تستعجلون بالسيئة قبل الحسنة لولا تستغفرون الله لولا تستغفرون الله لعلكم ترحمون Okay, so please follow the recitation to know how to say this ayat. Wala qad, wala qad, wala qad, wa wa la qad, wala qad. A a arsalna ila thamud. A a akhahum saliha. أن اعبد الله أن اعبد الله فإذا هم فريقان يختصمون قال يا قوم here maybe some people they say يا قوم there is no ya here قال يا قوم لم تستعجلون بالسيئة قبل الحسنة لولا تستغفرون الله لعلكم ترحمون ولا قد أرسلنا. We certainly sent to the people of Thamud their brother Salih. Allah سبحانه وتعالى here he is talking about قوم people قوم people who people Thamud who their prophet. Their prophet is Nabiullah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Salih. Okay? Al-Quran all the time, he's telling us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in the Quran about that oh, every messenger, every prophet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is sending the prophet or the messenger from them. Like, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he sent Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he sent Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from the people of Mecca from the people of Quraysh from their people from his people from the same people Allah choose one from them to be a prophet for them why? it's a wisdom behind it the wisdom behind it is what? 
the wisdom is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he chose the prophet to send to some people he chose from them because number one he knows how to deal with those people number two he know how to talk to them number three if someone came from outside then after that they could say they could say oh who is this guy who is this messenger we don't know him we don't know from where he came we don't know what he's talking about no allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is choosing is choosing from them messenger for them again is it choosing from them messenger for them so on that time when the prophet any prophet he come to the people or his people to invite them to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we know some of them some of them they believe in him and some of them they, they are against him they don't believe they don't listen they don't want they want to accept the new thing maybe this is strange for them as the quran told us in in, in another ayat uh, like a lot to told us about it before that people could say are you coming are you coming after all, all these years to invite us to invite us to leave worship status or al asnam or to leave what our fathers and grandfathers they used to do and you are coming today to invite us to leave all what we used to do for 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 long years or for our fathers or for our mothers or our families they used to do so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he told us what he invited them to do he said an abudullah subhanallah see how the people this is the habit of the people the prophet when he came any prophet when he came when he come to the people he didn't say worship me he didn't say believe in me i am your god even even when in christianity while they used to say isa ibn allah or isa is the rabb isa himself allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he asked him in surah al-ma'idah قال الله يا عيسى ابن مريم أأنت قلت للناس اتخذوني وأمي إلهين من دون الله أو عيسى son of Maryam did you invite people to worship you you said to say to your people worship me and my mom and leave Allah as عيسى عليه السلام he said يا سبحانك يا ربي إن كنت قلته فقد علمته if I said that يا الله you will know that ما قلت لهم إلا ما أمرتني به Look at the next word. I just told them what you asked me, what you commanded me to do. What he said, Allah. So the goal of every or each prophet to invite the people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not to worship him as a prophet. So Allah said, Allah. Then the people after that, they divided. They became two people. They became two groups. يختصمون. They split into two people, okay, and they are arguing. They like to argue to, together. So, فَإِذَاهُمْ فَرِقَانِ يَخْتَصِمُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here is telling us some of them, they believe in him, and some of them, they, they still disbelieve in him. Group believers and group kafir. They are arguing each with each other. So here, here, he said, قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ Subhanallah. This some kind, this some kind of, of, of nice speech. You know, if I said to you, brother, just I'm talking to all of you right now, brother and sisters. If I said right now, if I said, brother, do you, do you feel do you feel something like if i said brother and look at the other way if i said my brother my brother as i think this is something different to say my brother 
It means you are close to me. When I said, how are you, my brother? It's different to say, how are you, brother? This is the, this is the, 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 the language of the Quran. قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ Look at, there is no ya. There is no ya at the kasra. They have a kasra at the, at the bottom of qaw in the letter meme. Ya qawmi. Qala ya qawmi. Al ya mine. Like what? This my book. Qur'ani. It means this is Qur'an. Okay? My pen. Qalami. Mine. Okay? So al ya it refers to mine. So Allah said here, Qala ya qawmi. Allah. min ilahin ghayr. You don't have God or ilah except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then after that, then after that, when they became two groups, some of them they believe, some of them they don't believe in him. So the first group, they believe in Salih and they became believers and they believe what the Salih he came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the other group don't believe in them. So here, now Salih alayhi salam, he, Alhamdulillah, he has some people, they believe in him. Now he is talking to the other group. And when, while, while he is talking to the other group, he said, Qala ya qawm. And this is, listen, this is, listen, for all of us, even if we are talking to or with, if we are talking with or inviting some people, they disagree with us. Please focus on this point. If we are talking to some people that disagree with us, our habit, our way, some of us, they deal with anyone, disagree with them as an enemy. For example, uh, brother, brother, uh, whatever, brother from this, this uh, halaqa. Uh, he said, Sheikh Walid, he is saying something. Some of you, he said something. But maybe I disagree with what you said. So here, right away, right away, he, this brother, right away, he, he will deal with Walid as an enemy. Sheikh Walid is not from my group. He disagree with me. So now he is my enemy, for example. And this is wrong because this is something to teach all of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sunnah, the sunnah, sunnah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life, in this life, that we, we have differences. We are different. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wala yazaluna mukhtalifin. We are different. So, but in the same time, while we are different, we should accept each other while we are different. We shouldn't cut, cut the, 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 the communication. We shouldn't cut or we shouldn't cut, we shouldn't cut the relationship. This is wrong. We shouldn't do that. But we should keep our relationship good and strong and clear for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Why? Why that? Because if I disagree with someone, then I cut the relationship with him or her for some reason because we are disagree with some points or he or she didn't listen to me or they don't want to be in my group or part of my people. Well, it's wrong, 100% wrong. We should accept each other and even we talk to each other, we should be truthful with each other. We shouldn't take each other as an enemy, even if we are different. See, see, the people of Saleh here, he is talking to disbelievers. He is talking to Al Kufar. Some, the, the first group, they believe, or some of them, they believe in him. The other people, they don't believe in him. They didn't listen to him. They, did, they didn't accept what he came from, or didn't accept what he said, or didn't accept what he invited them to do. Okay? While in the same time, he is saying, Qala ya qawmi. See, how, how to be nice, even, even with non-Muslim. Look at, I'm talking to all of us. 
even with non-Muslim. The problem that we have nowadays that some Muslims may be, may be, and I know you will understand me well, and I know so because we, are, we have facing all the things everywhere, okay? Maybe some people inside the masjid, inside the masjid, both of them or all of them, they came for the same goal to pray. All of them, they came to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they became two groups. And I'm not talking to this guy or to this brother because he is from the other group. He is not from my group. And this group, some of them, I'm not going to talk to these people because those people, they are my enemy. Those people, they didn't follow me. No, I don't even, I don't even want to say salam. Not salam. I don't want to answer their calls. I don't want to respond to their messages. Why? Because this guy, for example, I'll talk about myself. I, I'm just give you an example. Again, I'm giving you an example. So I use myself. For example, if some people, they came to me, Sheikh Walid, we have this group, we have, we have. But I said, sorry, I'm, I'm doing so and so and so and so. Okay. And that time, at that time, so we will see he or she, they are dealing with me as an enemy. Why? They, they forgot that we have another strong relationship, relationship of Islam, brotherhood in Islam, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he created us from one father and one mother. One father and one mother. So why we cut the relationship? Because you didn't follow me. This is the point here. Why we take each other enemy because you are not from my group? Why from the beginning, from the beginning, why we are creating the groups? We should make one group, the group that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is what we should to do, all of us, not to take each other as the enemy because we didn't go with this or that. So here, Salih alayhi salam, in one word, and see the beauty of the Quran. In one word, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us how to keep the relationship strong with everyone, even if he was against me, even if he was didn't follow me. Do you think do you think that something greatest more than Islam? Do you think that something it's better than to be a Muslim? Do you think something greater than greatest more than? to invite people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do you think something, it, it would be better than this thing or this point or this invitation or whatever, what you call it? I don't think so. The, the best thing here in this life to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the best thing to have in this life to be a Muslim. So from here, so from here, nothing, anything will come after that, it would be nothing. Anything which would come after that, it would be nothing benefit. While he's still here, قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ And see how he was talking to them nicely. قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ لِمَ تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ بِالسَّيِّئَةِ قَبِلَ الْحَسَنَةِ لَوْ لَا تَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لَوْ لَا تَسْتَغْفِرُونَ اللَّهِ سبحان الله سبحان الله قال يا قوم لما تستعجلون بالسيئة قبل الحسنة why my people my people why you are you are dealing with me as your enemy لما تستعجلون بالسيئة بالسيئة it means the punishment السيئة here not real سيئة like good deed or bad deed. Hasana wa sayyi'a. No. As sayyi'a, it means you are making sin that it will take you to the punishment. So he didn't talk about, he didn't talk about the punishment, but he talked about the reason that it could take them, it will lead them to be in the punishment. لِمَا تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ بِالسَّيِّئَةِ قَبِلَ الْحَسَنَةِ لَوْ لَا تَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لَوْ لَا تَسْتَغْفِرُونَ اللَّهِ Now, 
I'm inviting you to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? And I'm giving you a good news from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? And لِمَا تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ بِالسَّيِّئَةِ قَبِلَ الْحَسَنَةِ You are inviting the punishment quickly. لِمَا تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ with the punishment to come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the goodness that you could see here in this life from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is in dunya. What about al akhirah? لو لا تستغفرون الله you may, you may need to make istighfar you may need to have a tawbah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so if you made that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you his mercy then after that the next ay what they said after he told them and see how those people, I'm talking about the non-believers or Al-Kuffar, how they were very tough while he still keep talking to them nicely. Okay? He said, لو لا تستغفرون الله I think you may need to make istighfar while they are Kuffar and Mushriki. What they said, قالوا قالوا طيرنا بك وبمن معك it means, you know, it's, I don't know what, what, what you call it, uh, like it, التشاؤم. التشاؤم, who can, can give me a simple meaning about التشاؤم. With a curse, Brother Walid? Um, yes, who? Pessimistic, Sheikh Walid. To what? be pessimistic. To what? be pessimistic. Pessimistic. Pessimist. Yes. Okay, but, pessimist. But I, I wanted to no, I, I wanted to have it in simple meaning. This is simple. simple I meaning. think uh, a lot of people understand. Man, who must say, "Come to me, bad evil, must say to curse you, and like you are like I can curse." Yes, I, I, I try to explain. I try to explain to you in another, in another, in another word. Exactly, like the sister. You know, sometimes. I don't know, it's a, you have this habit, uh, but I think we have the same. Sometimes some people, this I'm talking about back home. Some people uh, in the beginning of the day, if they, if they saw someone, they used to say, La ilaha illallah, we don't know, maybe something bad would happen today. Why brother or sister? Because I saw this guy in the morning. They call it At-Tasha'um. At-Tasha'um. Okay, and this is not allowed in Islam. This is not allowed in Islam. At the Sha'um, it's not allowed in Islam. Why? Because what? It's a bad omen. Sheikh Walid, can yes. I answer? Is it like superstition that if you see something, you think something bad is going to happen? Yes. Superstition? Yes, yes. yes. Something like that, yes. So I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to explain how the feeling it was from them towards the Prophet Saleh alayhi salam. So, قَالُوا اتَّيَّرْنَا بِكَ اتَّيَّرْنَا it means we, we have tasha'um. We have, ah, uh, when, when we saw you and your people, it means you are so bad people. It means we, something wrong with you and something bad would happen because of you and your people. قَالُوا اتَّيَّرْنَا بِكَ وَبِمَنْ مَعَكَ This is about us. Sometimes uh, in, the, in, in, in the history, this it was habit in the, in the Bedouin and the Arab people in the, in the, in, go back to the history. They used to, they used to uh, send some, some, they used to look at some birds and they used to send them, let, the, let this bird fly and they used to say, okay, if he went to this way, it means something good. If he went to this way, it would be something bad. Me, I'll give just an example. So here is referring to that this is not allowed in Islam, this is not right in Islam, but this is was it was their habit on that time. It means we feel something bad, it would happen to us because we saw you and we saw your people. What he answered them, look at. Maybe if, <laughs> maybe if I said that to some of us, maybe I said, Sheikh, why you say that about me? Are you crazy? 
what he said what he said قال how he was nice he's still nice قال طائركم عند الله again قال طائركم عند الله he used the tool that they used against him to answer them okay so what he said قال طائركم عند الله it means everything good good or bad with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not with the birds or not what your your faith قال طائركم عند الله everything will, will happen to you will happen to you in this life it comes from Allah you know what does it mean in another hand in another meaning it means what meaning what القضاء والقدر everything is happening here it's القضاء والقدر قال طائركم عند الله سبحانه وتعالى if he wants he will give you risk if he wants he will not give it to you and he said بل أنتم قوم تفتنون it meaning what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you when he sent me to you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you he give you a test to see what do you will do then after that وكان في المدينة تسعة رهط يفسدون في الأرض ولا يصلحون in the city of Salih alayhi salam okay and you know now what they, they made what they did in this city in, in, in Saudi okay there nine persons nine people they are making corruption in this city in this place so <clears throat> so after that he showed them he showed them what they did so now Allah is telling us about something is still happening while Prophet Saleh alayhi salam he is inviting his people to worship and believe in Allah and he was they start argue with him and he used to answer them as the way he did right now and in, in, in the same time there is nine people they are making corruption in the in the city on that time and he, and he showed them what they did so they were preparing to do something with him they said قالوا تقاسموا بالله تقاسموا بالله meaning what they are swearing some of them they are discussing لنبيتنه وأهله which means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about those people while they are talking about Salih alayhi salam what they will do with him and Naqat Salih Naqat Salih the animal of Salih alayhi salam regarding the animal of Salih alayhi salam بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى maybe we can continue we can continue to make the story together inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala so inshallah tomorrow بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى I'll continue talking about the Naqat Salih I, as we used to do if you if, if you would be able to share with me what you got about the naqat about naqat salih alayhi salam go and read about it and we can share together tomorrow inshallah bi idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala after fajr we can discuss it together what's the story of naqat salih alayhi salam this is number one number two why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentioned this story here number three what's the result after this story number four what we got what we learn from this story i mean the story of salih alayhi salam okay now now can you i give you each one inshallah give me in each one i'll give you uh, for example uh, 30 seconds 30 seconds we'll go one by one give me in 30 seconds what we learn from this what ayat what we did today we'll start inshallah from the beginning yeah go number one number one quick inshallah number one uh, brother anwar he's number one all the time mashallah yes i have 45 when i when i see that uh, yes it says worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then it's kind of 
come down and say believer and disbeliever, we yes. automatically automatically think that uh, you know it's two camp. But within believers also, I mean, some people yeah. by Muslim by name, so yeah. uh, and, and they don't worship. I think the key point I I understand here is, you know, people who worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is in one camp, and the rest are in the other camp. So that's kind of yes. where I was. Uh, I wanted your clarification on that. Yes, Jazakallah Kuli Khairat Anwar. Next one, uh, Tawheed, mother. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Go quick, sister. Uh, yes, sure. <clears throat> yes. The whole masses, uh, like almost three, four ayahs you uh, repeated. And yes. I got the main masses not mm. to be arrogant. Not respect too arrogant. Very good. Yes. Arrogant, respect each other's opinion, even though uh, at yes. the time it feels like maybe I am right, maybe the other person is not, but still we should have patience and respect yes. each other's opinions. Jazakallah kulli khair, sister. Jazakallah kulli khair. I'll add comment, comment to, to what, what you said, sister, about the opinion. Al Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah. I wish if we, all of us will learn this, this, this sentence, inshallah. Imam al-Shafi'i, while he was the Imam, you know, Imam of Fiqh, what he used to say, رأي صواب, رأي خطأ, يحتمل الصواب. My opinion could be wrong, may be right. And my brother or the other opinion may be right, it could be wrong. Subhanallah. Yes. Yes, this is what he used to say. رأي خطأ, يحتمل الصواب. My opinion wrong, but maybe it could be right. Your opinion, right? But it could be wrong. See, yes. Okay. Good. Next, uh, our respected Dr. Arif. Mashallah. Salam alaikum, Dr. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes. So I was looking at the second ayah, Sheikh, that uh, that we were doing. Uh, yes. In it, you know, the uh, the, the question that that Allah that uh, Salih al Salam is asking to his people. Yes. Why don't you, uh, you know, uh, ask the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that the mercy will come down to you. So this, oh. this is one of the message that, you know, in, in any action, then if a good thing has been asked and if you don't understand it and we get into any kind of difficulties, the, the, to come out of that difficulty is to ask the istighfar from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. Uh, to come out from this difficult, make istighfar. I need to, if you, if you could write down these points, this is, we, it would be, it would be also for all of us. The, the first, uh, Brother Anwar said, the, uh, the, uh, Tawheed's mother, what she said, and you, what you said, Dr. Arif, yeah, very good, yes. Uh, next one, uh, I don't know who, next one, A-M-A-L. Uh, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sister Amal? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, um, I came late, but. Um, no problem. Give us what part, you have, sister. Yes. We are sharing what we have together. Yes, the part of not to be uh, pessimistic about, not pessimistic specifically, it's about taking. Um, signs of Allah as a way to interpret it like uh, as if it's a bad luck. Uh, yes. MashaAllah. When Masha you Allah. the morning and you see a bird flying in a certain yeah. direction, yes. that's a bad luck or a, 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 a black cat, it's a bad luck or the number yes. yes. it's yes, a sister. bad luck or broken yes. glass, something like this. Yes, mashallah. Yes, jazakallah kulli khair, sister. Uh, sister Zahida? Or brother Shahid, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. both of you. Yeah. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother Shahid. Yes, the main thing, like the way we said it, like we should not take other person's opinion as a wrong opinion and we should not divide ourselves we should respect each other yes. uh, and uh, that's one thing mean mean lesson i learned it from this these ayahs today yes uh sister that she will share with us or not yes 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 sister go ahead assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh yeah. 
the main point from all these three ayahs, I learned that whatever you know, when you are giving a message to someone, like you that prophets, then um, when we, you can you know see that all the prophets, whatever the people are behaving from their message, they always stay like a nice, positive, and again you know talking to them very respectfully. So yeah. this message also should be us, uh, you know, in our daily life that if, you know, you are yes. giving, telling something that, uh, you know, you want to teach something, you know, that you have to be nice and patient. Be oh. patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very, very good. Short message, Sister Zahida. Nice and what? Patience. And patience. Yes. Nice and patience. Please. This is all of us. I'm, I'm learning with you right now. Nice and patient with everyone. And by the way, sister, I would like to add something to what you said, if you allow to me, that we have to open our hearts for each other. We have to open our chest for each other. You know, from patience. Yes. Zakallah kulli khair, sister Dehida. Assalamu alaikum, brother Damani. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Brother Damani, welcome yes, back, Brother man. Damani. Welcome back, wa Brother Damani. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. MashaAllah, la quwata illa billah. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, uh, MashaAllah, it's, it's good to see you too, Shaykh. It's so good <laughs> yeah, to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MashaAllah, Abdullah. Yes. What, what I got from, from these, uh, I uh, yes. one of the main things was humility. Humility when receiving. Humility, humility yes. when receiving um, guidance or instruction. So, yeah. You know, the people, when they were told something they didn't want to hear, they immediately became, there was an arrogance. The so arrogance, yeah. Bad, instead yes. of something that, that was going to give them guidance and, and, and to give them good. So I, I, I take from this the importance of humility when receiving some guidance. And that's what... Uh, yeah. Again, can you repeat it again, Brother Damani? To remind yeah, so ourselves? Yes, humility. Yeah, the humility. When what? When, when, receiving, what? when receiving guidance. When yes. receiving guidance. Yeah. yeah, this is what I want. I wanted to you to say again. Yes. Humility when you get guidance. Yes. Don't have in other in another in other word. Don't have what? Arrogance. Arrogance. That's, That's it. Right. That's it. So Short arrogance. answer. Short, Short answer. Jazakallah kulli khair, brother Damani. Brother Ibrahim. Inshallah, is it? Wish to see you, inshallah every day, brother Ibrahim. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yes. Alaikum salam wa rakatu. Brother Ibrahim, salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Um, alaikum salam wa rakatu. Yes, brother Ibrahim. What I got from uh, from this uh, two or three ayats is, uh, mm. and uh, I see this throughout the Quran and throughout the uh, generation. Um, at, at first, the the uh, the people before the message comes uh, to them come to them, they all they were one people, and then when the the truth come to them to believe in one 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 Lord, immediately you see two different, uh, uh, two different uh, uh, parties, like one follows the message and the other one always there is opposite. You, you yeah. always see that throughout, the, maybe, maybe rarely you see maybe the whole uh, people, the whole generation yeah. believes yeah. in the one message, but always you see two, two one believes and, and the other one disbelieves. Yeah. So I don't know if this is uh, to make it not an easy task for the messengers and, and Russells, you know, so uh, it's not like an easy when you are a uh, uh, Rasul, it's not an easy task. It's, it's not an easy, yes. Yeah, yeah. So yes. You, it's you hard have job. It's hard job. Exactly. Yes, it's hard job. Zakalakul khair, brother Rahim. I think uh, brother Naveed iPhone. I think brother Naveed. Wa alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother Naveed, how are you? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Yes, yes, go ahead. Yeah, so um, basically when I uh, read this thing, so um, it reminds me that, you know, um, you are in, in your comfort zone. So anybody comes and tells you something differently that is, you know, uh, within, was not in your comfort zone, that you always become defensive. Defensive, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. And, and yes, then, right. And then, you're defensive, you, yeah. Yeah, you can you kind of become, you know, that okay, you know, whatever you're saying, I'm I'm not gonna believe you, you know, and then uh, and uh, then unless somebody you know keeps telling you, and then you have you know uh, gives you some sort of a proof or something like that, 
because you know it's it's very difficult to make a change you know because if you're you're in your comfort zone why that brother brother bit from your side from your opinion why is that because what do you think uh, because you you're looking you know people around you doing something you know day in and day out and you yeah. think that you know okay whatever they're doing is correct and if somebody yeah. does something differently then you say that okay you know it's it's very difficult for me to understand it right now so yes Yes, that's 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 what I think. That, you know, I think yes, but but well, it, this is very great point, Brother David. Yes, when you are in your comfort zone, comfort zone, and you don't accept some people from out your, they were out of your place. They should be in your place to accept them, right? Yes. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Can I answer this? Can I answer this? Hello. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Can I answer this? Because you know, when somebody is giving us a message, we think we are right. Yeah, that's yeah, why we don't want to listen to the other, the other person because we are we think we are right and we are in our comfort zone. The way he was saying. Oh, uh, this is this is a point, sister Zahidar. I add to brother Nafid, brother Nafid, and you what you said that all the time we think that we are right. Yes, that's why we don't want to listen to the person. Yeah, that's this a bit number point. one. I mean, the word is a being right all the times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, uh, next one, uh, Dr. Muhammad. Brother Walid, can I add? This is Saadiya, Assalamu Alaikum. Alaikum Assalamu Alaikum, Alaikum Sister Saadiya. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry, I don't know that you are, you are with us. Okay, go ahead, Sister Saadi. Yes. So, uh, beautiful ayahs and mashallah, so everybody has said everything. Whatever point I was about to say, somebody has said mashallah, so it is good. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I want to add that uh, when um, uh, people like Arab, like a brother said about arrogance, like uh, how people were arrogant and how they were saying that you are a bad omen to us. This is sign of, of arrogance. But then yeah. how do you respond to an arrogance is what we are learning from this ayah. Oh, please add, add and repeat again, sister. How do you respond, you, to, you respond arrogance? to arrogance? How? This is the, I think, sister, this is the, the key for the solution. Right? Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right? Not, totally 100% right. This is like yes. we need to learn when we see arrogance in front of us. How do yes. we respond is the key. How do we react? <laughs> you know, sister, I wish, I wish if, uh, you know, like Sayyidina Omar, like he said, Law kan al rajulan I wish if the arrogance was a man, I'll kill him. <laughs> yes. Jazakallah kulli khair, sister. Jazakallah kulli khair. Dr. Muhammad, I think. Uh, uh, Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Yeah. Wa alaikum uh, assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I understand from this that we should be broad-minded. Can, can I ask a question, please? Can I ask a question before you go? I see here just Muhammad. Is it you or, or another uh, Muhammad? Because I don't exactly... Can you can you help me when you go inshallah to write the name? Yes, Muhammad, just Muhammad. This is you or, or another Muhammad? This is Muhammad Ahmed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dr. Shakir, go ahead. Then you, Dr. Muhammad, inshallah. Yes, yeah, Dr. Shakir. Yes, go ahead. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Yeah, um, from this I understand that we should be broad minded, not narrow minded, and we should respect other uh, person's opinion. And, you yes. know, uh, I just wanted to uh, tell you a silly incident which happened with me <laughs> during Ramadan. After What's happened? We were yeah, share it with us, please. Yeah, we are coming out and with my friend and we stood like, you know, in one of the like seven land store and we just, you know, talking about Sunnah and we are arguing on one thing, like whether it is Sunnah to drink water sitting down or standing up. I was, <laughs> it is, and you know, we're just arguing on this silly thing. So, uh, you know, we should, in a broad manner, respect other people's uh, opinion as well. That's what I learned from this. Respect uh, comes first, Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Shakir. Yeah, respect yeah. comes first. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what we should know. And this is what the Islam taught us, Dr. Shakir. Okay. Laysa minna, laysa minna, laysa minna, laysa minna. Man lam yuwakkir kabirana. It's not from us, the one who didn't respect the old people older than us. So respect comes first. Even if, they, if, they, if, he, if he or she, they were wrong. 
جزاك الله كل خير دكتور شكيل جزاك الله كل خير Yeah, my wife also wants to talk something. Yes, about. yes, of, of course. I know I'm waiting for her. I know. <laughs> so the one point, I think the other uh, brothers and sisters, they talk very good. Uh, but the one point, uh, it's a simple point that um, superstitions are very common. Even, and they're imposed by people. They're not from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And sometimes they bring hardship on ourselves. Like even at this oh. stage, That yes. you know, this color is not. It's unlucky for me. I'm not supposed to wear this color. Yeah. Or a black cat, you know, crossing. crossing the road. It's not lucky from me. So these, all these things are not from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. They are from people. And I think if you tell them, it's um, people. They, it's so deeply embedded in them that they don't, they don't listen. If you say, okay, refer to the Quran and Sunnah, and what we are doing is wrong. still it's it's very hard it's very hard to convince people that it's from us from the people and not from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yes yeah, yeah you are right sister you are right sister yes yes we we are we are we are the people the one who are bringing hard thing or difficult thing on, on the front of each other and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he told us yassiru wa la tu'assiru make it easy for yourself and don't make it hard for yourself جزاك الله كل خير جزاك الله كل خير سيستر جزاك الله كل خير دكتور شكيل دكتور محمد السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته دكتور محمد I always remember وخلق الناس بخلق حسن الله الله وخالق الناس بخلق حسن وخالق الناس can you translate دكتور محمد please always deal with the people with the best uh, the best of manners Because if we uh, always always be be nice, be nice, smile and be nice. Yes, kind and be nice. وخالق الناس بخلق حسن. Yeah, you know, Doctor Muhammad. You know, Doctor Muhammad, that and all my brothers and sisters. You know, the most heaviest thing in the balance. What? You know, the heaviest thing. Character. A character, and I mean, and I mean, حسن الخلق, as Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم told us, ما من شيء أثقل في ميزان المؤمن من حسن الخلق. Yes, there is nothing in the balance for believers' balance more than حسن الخلق. Yes, Sister Romina. Shaykh Ali, the Salam Alaikum. So first thing is, mashallah, by isn by isnallah. I was the first one to join at 5:20 a.m., but Allah made me do a lot of sabr. You never called my name, and I'm all. I didn't. No, I'm. I'm. Uh, no, sister. And I'm almost I'm the last one in the group. When mashallah, I was the first one to. No, no. Wait sorry, sorry for that. For you sorry to for start that. The sister Romina, I apologize yes. for, but I, I'm. I'm taking the line. Okay, on 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 me right now. I'm saying. So you because your name I think R so R I think it's it's comes down so sorry it's for okay, the sister Romina. It's okay, Sheikh Walid. I I was Romina, up please, please, ten before minutes you, before ahead you go. before my. But no, before you go, time. when Brother Arwa join us, please, as I my brother they are doing, you can <laughs> go after him right Khalid. away. Okay, that's why Allah made me do sabr. Alhamdulillah. No I would like you. to. I would yes. like to, and uh, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala give me. Uh, the best speech, inshallah. Mm-hmm. I would like to uh, to add two comments uh, uh, from what I learned today. In the yes. second ayah, uh, I learned politeness. That even if somebody uh, you know talks uh, rudely with you, you have to be very polite and patient. If you read Qasasul Ambiya, all all yeah. Um, yeah. the Rasul, the messengers. Were very polite and very patient, and just like Zaida said, that uh, you know, uh, you know, in our life, when somebody talks rudely with us, we get very angry and argue right away, very quick. <laughs> okay, and the second part is that when you were talking about that uh, superstition in Surah An Nisa, Allah called yes. it a jib, a jib, which is the superstition that black cat. Uh, you know, crosses yeah. away. That is Jip, and the nine people who were the corrupt people. 
they followed the tagood that is the forces of the uh, shaitan that they killed the she camel so i just wanted to add the jib and tagood to this story yes al jib to what tagood mashallah sister romina you are you are doing mashallah a good a good research and recitation and study mashallah sister romina so again sister romina when brother anwar is talking inshallah you you join him right away bi idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala after him okay Sheikh, Wali, uh, Salaam alaikum. Uh, I just want to ask you, can you explain on this dua? This, this dua, Allahumma hassan tu qalqi wa hussin qulq. Can you explain oh, this? Yeah, way? Yes, okay, of course, doctor. Of course, you have it, inshallah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to make this dua, Allahumma kama hassan tu qalqi, Allahumma kama hassan tu qalqi, hassin khuluqi. Again, Allahumma, كما حسنت خلقي حسن خلقي oh Allah as you created me in a good image or a good shape or a good picture whatever you are the best made me in the best creation make my خلق the best improve enhance my أخلاق my manners my behaviors my attitude with the people Okay, go ahead, inshallah. Next one, uh, Sister Rakshi. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Sheikh Walid. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, inshallah, what I learned from all these, um, these three ayahs uh, is yes. um, humbleness. Um, because most of the time we see throughout the Quran that Prophet they brought message. And uh, what is stop people uh, from accepting is what they, their arrogance. Yes. I'm, what I'm learning here, um, just to be humble when we are, even within uh, starting with our family, that we are, when we are doing hmm. the right thing, and we just have to be humble. So inshallah, as all prophets were um, with the, you know, um, help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were Amen. able to um, uh, succeed in their mission, that they were able to invite people to Islam. So inshallah, with humbleness, Inshallah, we can uh, inshallah, uh, invite people inshallah, to inshallah. with our family. Yes, um, inshallah. Zakallah kulli khair, Sister Rakhshi. Zakallah kulli khair. Zakallah kulli khair. Shahid is here too. Yes, Shahid. Uh, Shahid, then you see once. My Shahid. Husband. Oh, brother Shahid here. Yeah. Mashallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as yeah. brother Shahid. So How are you, brother Shahid? The same uh, yes. uh, uh, tone with Rakhshi and myself. And uh, basically, the, the one point that uh, invariably, we always see whenever uh, prophets were opposed by, and here is an example for uh, Prophet Saleh is very clear that the people who opposed were rich and arrogant and stubborn, and it's the people yes. of wealth and means who, and same thing with uh, the people of Quraysh, the people who opposed Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are the wealthy, and uh, they are very stubborn and people have to be very humble to accept the message. The message from Prophet Saleh was very simple. Believe yeah. in one, uh, yeah. God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, but right. People who yes. were stubborn and rich and arrogant, they found that very difficult to implement. And yes. this is something that is uh, throughout history. We have seen the same people who really opposed are not the meek and the uh, people with less means, but the arrogant and the rich who are proud of their wealth. Oh, proud of their wealth. Yes. Yeah, this is a good point, brother, brother Shahid. They are proud of their wealth. From there, the, the arrogance come. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Jazakallah kulli khair. Okay, now uh, I think the, the, the place for Sister Rumina. Sister Romina, this is your time right now. You, you want to add something? Alhamdulillah, Sheikh. I was the last one in your list. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. No, still, we still have, we still have Sister Sadia. I think she, 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 she already said, right? said. Sadia already. already said. Okay. It's okay. okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Zakallah kulli khair. Sister Shahla? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. The uh, point that I 
thing I want to add is there's no good or bad omen. It's all qadr of Allah. Yeah, everything is qadr from Allah. Yes. Inna kulla shay'in khalaqnahu bi qadr. Everything we have created, it's from Al Qadr. Yes. Yes. Yes, right, sister, sister Shell, right. Yes. Okay, that's it? That's it. Jazakallah kulli khair, that's good. You know, sister, what you said, it's a pillar of Iman. What you said, Al Iman bil Qadr wal Qadr. Yeah, yeah, subhanallah. Yeah, it's two words, but it, it's a pillar of Iman, subhanallah. Jazakallah kulli khair, sister Shell. Jazakallah kulli khair. Zakallah kulli khair. Sister Tahira? Assalamu alaikum, Sister. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sister Tahira. We are doing Ayah 45, right? Yes. So when I read the meaning, from the meaning what I understood and all those opinions I heard everybody said so perfectly, it was in this, I see is uh, saying that uh, when uh, Prophet Saleh was sent to his brother, that it, he was told that uh, instead of them splitting into the groups, if everybody's uh, doing ibadah to Allah, yes. worshiping Allah, then there would not be any conflict. So the message, uh, what I get from this is, if we all are worshiping same Allah, why would there be any so many conflicts, so many disputes, so many um, like uh, divisions in us and all that? So the message in that, but worldly, if you read the translation, what I understood was, yes, then they won't, won't be like take the message that in Abdullah, for example, Abdullah, yes. then yes. they won't be fighting if they worship Allah. Yes, sister. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I understood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mashallah. Wallahi, well, sister, see what we, all of all of you, so we have, mashallah, about 20 uh, brothers. <laughs> yeah, all of them, you know, different. Yeah, that's the beauty. Mashallah, mashallah. It's very, it's, it's very wealthy, mashallah. Really? Very wealthy. Uh, who is uh, Brother Sharif? Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh Khalid. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Brother Sharif, how are you? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm the last, so probably I'll echo everyone. Basically what I got from the ayat is that we shouldn't hasten and when we get into argument, we should be nice and choose the right word. Like here, Prophet Saleh. Yeah, yeah. All his people, all my people, you know, yeah. give them yeah. advice uh, nicely. So yes, while well, brother Sharif, while they are, they were kuffar. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So right. even if the, if you have any argument or di dispute with other group, then we should uh, choose the right word and uh, talk to them nicely and uh, give them advice uh, with the wisdom. You know. Yes. Yes. Subhanallah, yes. You know, Brother Sharif, I remember now the ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He guided him to, to say that. He said, Kulla tusaluna, Kul la tusaluna, Amma ajramna, Wala nusalu amma ta'amaloon. When he talked about himself while he's the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he called himself at the people as a criminals. Mm. And when he talked about them, well, they are, not, they are wrong. He said, we will not be questioned about what you are doing. See the way? Subhanallah. Yeah, see? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gather all of us. ثُمَّ يَفْصِلُ بَيْنَنَا He will be the judgment. He will be, he will make, I'm sorry, he will make the judgment. He will be the judge between you and us. See? This ayah, it gives us a brief of manners. Right? Right. Yes, subhanallah. Yes, brother Sharif. Jazakallah. Jazakallah, brother Sharif, for joining and for adding this point. Yes. 
uh, I think who is still here, uh, Sister Naveen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sister Naveen. Yes, do you have something to add, inshallah? Inshallah. Yes. It's in Daya 46, I think uh, Brother Arif Manan, he already talked mm. about Lawla Tastaghfirun Allah La'allakum Turhamun, so I'm not gonna cover this because he already did. But yes. what really stopped me was Qala ya qawmi lima tasta'ajiluna bis sayyati qabla al-hasana. Here, God is asking, why are you asking for adab? and you don't ask for God's mercy. So this reminded mm. me of, of Sayyidina Yusuf, when he mm. said, إِلَيَّ مِمَّا تَدْعُونَنِي إِلَيْهِ And then mm. in the other, when, when there is this other that, that said, uh, that God told Sayyidina Yusuf, well, if you asked for the prison, we gave you the prison. But if you asked for Afia, we would have given you Afia. So mm. this is one thing. Um, and the other thing is that I know a lot of people who actually do this in in our daily life. Like they would, I have a person, I know a person, she took off the hijab, for example, and we were discussing the, the, the mm. concept. And then mm. she, had, she told me, well, I asked God if it's a fard that he would, he would give me something bad in my hair or something. And I said, why are you asking? Oh, really? Bad. Yes, mm. he told me that. And then I said, why are you asking for something, for, for some sort of adab, while you should be asking for rahma instead? So instead mm. of saying, well, may God give me something bad in my hair or my head if I'm doing something wrong, you should mm. be asking for guidance yes. and, and forgiveness. forgiveness. Yes. Exactly. So, mm. so this is what stopped me in this ayah, so that we bias. should always, we should always, think positive and we should always ask uh, positive things from God subhanahu wa ta'ala yes yeah this is all what we need sister this is all what we need with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know sister what you remind me right now you remind me about the hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he went to he went to someone he was he was he was I, I remember I think he was a young man and he was sick until he began his you know, I don't know what you, how you call it, but you know, just a skin on bone. That's it. Nobody. Nobody. Body just bone and skin. That's it. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked him, Ya Rajul, Ya Rajul, are you were doing something or asking something in your life? Can you tell me? It's authentic hadith. And I said, yes, Ya Rasulullah. I said, can you tell me what you used to say? You see what he said? He said, see how he's fear enough until he keeps saying this dua. He said, oh Allah, if you are going to punish me or give me punishment in Al-Akhirah, please give it to me in dunya first. Okay. So he said, ya Rajul, halla sa'alta Allah al-maghfirah? Halla sa'alta Allah al-afu wa al-afiyah? Oh man. Instead of asking Allah that, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to excuse you. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to burden you. Give you, you know, to give you al-afu. To, to do af with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he opened the door, the gates of mercy and forgiveness. Why we are closing it on ourselves like that, by this, by, by tongue. Something like that. لِمَا تَسْتَعْجِلُونَ بِالسَّيِّئَةِ قَبْلَ الْحَسَنَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is giving us the, the mercy day and night. Why you are asking Allah that? Yes, sister. Zaka Allah kulli khair. Still have something? No, that's it. Okay, Zaka Allah khair. Zaka Allah kulli khair, sister. So, uh, is there is brother or sister, they didn't share something with us? All of you, you shared what you have? I want to make sure that all of us, alhamdulillah, that we, we, share, we, we did something we shared what we have. There is no answer. Okay. Okay. So now, mashallah, la quwata illa billah, that we, all of us, we, we shared what we have. Mashallah, we have, we will have about 20 brother or sister. And mashallah, what I realized, I recognized something that each one is giving something different. Each one is giving something different. 
does it mean it means what it meaning that mashallah this is something that, that we have will all of you all of you we have will this will may be property may be gold may be money whatever so, but all of them is like wealth so all of you like that the good wealth from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that has given to all of us and we are sharing together and this is the benefit we are we are trying to maximize the benefits in this halaqa bi idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa lillahi alhamd we are we have that wa lillahi alhamd wa lillahi shukr and i think i would like to add something for 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 all of you i feel something they call it this is from allah i'm i'm trying to have good thought in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i feel something my brother and sister that i what i'm seeing masha allah la quwwata illa billah masha allah la quwwata illa billah it's something like they call it in arabic the, the mashayikh they used to teach us that this is al fath the opening the opening from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala masha allah people of fajr the 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 the, first, the people first class people vip people and all of them allah is giving some of what he has masha allah subhanahu masha allah la quwwata illa billah subhanallah may allah bless bless all of you and bless all of your life and bless all your family and everything that you have Inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are going to to make dua but before to do our dua bi idhni Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I would like to invite all of you to make inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, make some some uh, activity on uh, on Instagram page Instagram page and uh, Facebook and be active more and share the dua that we are doing make some kind of da'wah it's easily to do da'wah on your phone like that sharing comment invite everyone to say this dua invite some people to do this dua share the meaning with them teach someone he doesn't know especially this dua the way what what we we, we created in this way like that this is for my beloved and respected brothers and sisters they are they are don't speaks arabic so we are trying to make it easy for for them as much as we can so i would like also to uh, uh, invite uh, sister lewin inshallah quick to explain to us inshallah what my brother and sister they could do so can you can you do that sister lewin please assalamu alaikum so just just briefly social media works by by uh, interaction so if nobody goes there on the on the page and start liking the page and adding comments and things like that the page will not appear to other people oh. so so this is why we should be active on the pages if anybody has facebook account or instagram account it's better to do that because this way this will appear to other people and the goal inshallah is that these dua, this dua is not only for our community but it can reach different communities so yes. this will be an act of da'wah just going in and trying to tell people about the page share it on your facebook on your facebook accounts so that people can especially i'm asking um, our beloved non-arabic speakers because when i try to share this on my social media for example because we're all arabs these these are very common in the arab world people did not really react to it but i feel like people who do not understand arabic and these are the target market or the niche that we're trying to reach it will be very beneficial for them so that's it okay jazakallah kulli khair sister jazakallah kulli khair allah yabarik fik so now inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala i think brother damani is still with us or not brother damani yes i'm i'm still here I'm, yes, I'm, brother Manny, I, I, I think you, you want to say something? Oh, no, I, I added something uh, before. I was just... Okay, just, okay. Because I, 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 I saw you raise your hand, so I thought that you want to say something. I have to... Oh, yeah, yes. I, I, SubhanAllah, I did have uh, something, but there was uh, one of the sisters that add the comment that I would have, um, would, have, would, have, would have given to the group. So it was, mashallah, yes. it was, everything was said that yes. I wanted to say, so... Yes. 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 
نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك سبحانك يا ربنا لا نفسي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك ونصلي ونسلم على عبدك ونبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إنا نسألك علما نافعا وقلبا خاشعا ولسانا ذاكرا وجسدا على البلاء صابرا اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من علم لا ينفع وقلب لا يخشع ودعوة لا يستجاب لها اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار اللهم إنا نسألك حبك وحب من يحبك وحب كل عمل يقربنا إليك وإلى حبك اللهم إنا نسألك يا رفيع الدرجات يا مجيب الدعوات أن ترفع درجاتنا أن ترفع درجاتنا أن ترفع درجاتنا أن تغفر لنا أن ترحمنا أن تعافينا وأن تعفو عنا وأن تستجيب دعواتنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم بارك لنا في يومنا وبارك لنا في أرزاقنا وبارك اللهم لنا في بيوتنا وبارك اللهم لنا في حياتنا وبارك اللهم لنا في أولادنا اللهم احفظ أولادنا من كل مكروه وسوء واحفظ أهلنا من كل مكروه وسوء اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الهم والحزن ونعوذ بك من العجز والكسل ونعوذ بك من الجبن والبخل ومن غلبة الدين وقهر الرجال اللهم إنا نسألك أن تستجيب دعواتنا وأن تتقبل صلاتنا وأن تستجيب لكل رجاء رجوناه منك يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك من الخير كله عاجله وآجله ونعوذ بك اللهم من الشر كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم يا مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا إلى طاعتك اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما واجعل تفرقنا من بعده معصوما ولا تجعل فينا ولا بيننا ولا منا شقيا ولا محروما اللهم إنا نسألك أن تغفر لنا ذنوبنا وأن تكتب لنا أجر حدة وعمرة تامة 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 يا رب العالمين وأن تتقبلنا في عبادك الذين أعتقت رقابهم من النار يا رب العالمين وأن تجعلنا في رمضان وفي آخر أيام العام وفي رمضان وفي آخر رمضان وفي آخر عمرنا من المقبولين الفائزين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اجعل خير أعمالنا خواتيمها وخير أيامنا يوم أن نلقاك واختم بالباقيات الصالحات أعمالنا وتوفنا وأنت راض عنا وتوفنا وأنت راض عنا وتوفنا وأنت راض عنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين واغفر لآبائنا وأمهاتنا ولجميع المسلمين والمسلمات المؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات برحمتك يا رب الأرض والسماوات وصل اللهم وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا جزاكم الله خيرا all of you إن شاء الله إن شاء الله we'll see you إن شاء الله بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى today إن تروي خاطر أن دعاء بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى may Allah سبحانه وتعالى accept our fasting and our دعاء and our Quran and everything what we are doing during the day may Allah سبحانه وتعالى may Allah سبحانه وتعالى forgive all of us and accept all our good deeds before inshallah to leave inshallah don't forget to pray inshallah salat al duha two or four or six or eight it's up to you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then after that do azkaru as sabah inshallah morning azkar may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept that from all of us and forgive all of us and accept all our good deeds jazakum Allah khairan for joining and for listening may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of us assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh
السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته